head coach of the Indiana who, 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 Hoosiers. Ranked number eight in the country, ladies and gentlemen. Coach Signetti. Yeah, yeah, coach. Big Sig, how's it going? What's going on? Dude, how are you? Grinding, buddy. Yeah. Trying to get her done. Yeah, I know. I know you're in the middle of the work week, and uh, I sent you a text this morning. We tried to hit up the PR guy this morning. They say he's in a meeting, still in a meeting. This thing might have been the longest meeting of all time, but you've told us you were dialed in on this season. So thank you for taking a couple moments here to chit-chat about the big news last night. I know you're knowing this, and I know you think this as well. You can hang them up, bud. You got Indiana ranked in the top 10. Season's over. Yeah. Hell yeah. Season's over, Sig. You know what I mean? You did something nobody thought was possible. It's all over. First CFP rankings. You guys are top. Way to go, Sig. Yeah. Way, to go. Yeah. Way to go. You're favored by 14 against Michigan. Way to go. Yeah. It's over. Wave Congrats. Down. It's over. Is that how we feel? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> I mean, the exact thing that we're trying to guard against right there. <laughs> <laughs> did you find I out? Mean, the message I had to send to the team after practice yesterday. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm aware of what happened. But, you know, we, we got to focus in on the preparation process, eliminate the noise and the clutter, because the bottom line is it doesn't matter where you are today. It's the end of the season, and, and you got to win. And all, the, all these teams need to win that are in the top 12 and just outside the top 12, bottom line. So what do you control? You control your preparation, right? And you got to put yourself in the best position to be successful on Saturday. Okay, so you did know that it happened. I assume you and your wonderful family, at least last night before bed, go, nobody could have ever imagined this. Then you lay your head down, then you're off it, you move along. Your team knows it. Obviously, we live in a world where all the news is in there. But your messaging has remained the same. Do you feel like your guys, uh, obviously, game day comes to town, big game, massive win. Is your team mature enough, you think, to handle all this? Because that's kind of been the question with all of college football this year with accolades. Well, you know, we have up to this point, but I, you start every week with kind of a blank piece of paper, a blank clean slate. And, uh, you know, you put something on that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You got to stack days. You got to stack moments and days, good meetings, good practices, good preparation. So, uh, you know, every week brings a different set of circumstances. And uh, so far we've passed the test, but we got to do the things to pass the test this week. Because it's at another level now, right? And uh, come off a game where you played fairly well, and now you got all this stuff going on too, right? And people make assumptions on the outside, right? Which, you know, I mean, the, the margin for error, victory and defeat is very slim every game. A couple of plays. It turns the momentum, and maybe you get on a roll. So uh, it's a really good football team we're going to play this week. they got a lot of good players. I mean, uh, and, you know, they're good on the lines and their defense lines really stout and they got a lot of strengths and, you know, they got tradition and history. So, I mean, we're going to have to play really, really well. And, uh, you know, so we take control of what we can control and, uh, you know, we play the best of our ability. I'm, uh, you know, I have confidence and belief in our team. First time you guys have been 14 put favorites against Michigan since Sun Tzu. Wrote the uh, yeah. Art of War mm -hmm. way back in the day. I don't know if you know that. Just stats and historic records being broken every single day. AJ has a question for you. High State around the corner as well. That's right, Coach. I, I had some a coach tell me one time, like he he told our, our team, like I'm not worried about like adversity, and I'm worried about how we're going to handle success because handling success is sometimes it's more difficult. And you've won wherever you have gone, so you obviously kind of have a path in place. Is that something you think about and, and your coaches talk about? Like, hey, this is we're going to win. The question is, how do we continue to win once everyone expects us to win, I guess? Yeah, it's all about standards, high standards, and, and never compromising your standards. Uh, and you can't certainly lower your standards. Like, you know, fourth quarter of a game, you're up four or five touchdowns. You know, uh, the standard's a standard, play in, play out. So week in, week in, out, day in, day out. And uh, getting better, getting worse, never stay the same. And if you're not striving, putting the time in, preparing, then you're getting worse because your opponent is. Uh, so, you know, you got to keep the eye on the bullseye. This team has been mature enough, got a lot of older guys, play a lot of football. I, they're a hungry team. I don't think they're satisfied at all, uh, you know, and uh, so I have confidence that we're going to do what we need to do. Let's uh, go to Hammer. Bad time. AP Tone has a question for you, Coach. Yeah, Coach, uh, last week against Michigan State, you go down 10 nothing. I think, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I think that was the first time that you guys were not leading uh, at any point in any game this season. Was that – 
actually a good thing that you guys got that out of the way and then came back and scored 47 straight? It was a good thing we scored 47 straight. <laughs> oh, but uh, no, you're right. It was the first time. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm watching it happen and they were making some plays, some impressive plays. And, uh, and then I sort of had to kind of like, uh, okay. And uh, What's went that? over top of the offense a little bit. And like, hey, no big deal. A lot, of, a lot of ball left here. One play at a time. Let's have some fun. Okay. And, uh, you know, everybody was calm, cool, collected, poised, focused. And, uh, you know, we took control of the game. So at the end of the day, yeah, it was probably a good thing to finally be behind. Uh, and, you know, we responded the way uh, we needed to respond and really dominated the game. Speaking of responding, Curtis Rourke's thumb, it feels like a medical miracle that he's back, feeling good, every day getting better. That was the story last week. Is that still trending in the right direction? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate uh, when they went in there that, uh, you know, they were able to do a, a procedure uh, that they didn't expect they'd be able to do. And uh, so the recovery process was about half as long as uh, they expected. And, uh, I mean, I, I can't tell you how much I respect everybody has for him to come back from that. And, uh, you know, he would, like you said, he was better Tuesday than Monday and Thursday than Wednesday and played really well. And uh, so, cause you know, the quarterback is, is the guy, right? He's the guy, he's got to distribute the ball and uh, make the plays and make good decisions and uh, be clutch in critical situations. And he's that guy. You got a guy. That Hell feels yeah. good when you're going to bed and you got a guy. I, I mean, legitimately. You got to have a guy. Now, I've seen a lot of gurus lose their guru card when they lost their guy. <laughs> you got to have a guy. Yeah, Coach Saban says, uh, I found out quickly that I can't coach bad players. Uh, so recruiting became obviously number one. But if you have a guy mentally, and obviously Curtis Rourke, former MAC player of the year, obviously you scouted him, knew that he was going to be a guy for you. Everything he's doing for Indiana, you're doing for Indiana is a beautiful thing. A lot of people on the internet last night uh, have fallen in love with your team. I think you need to know that. A lot of people around the country have fallen in love with the Indiana Hoosiers. Fun style of play, obviously historic. The fans showed up for game to everything. It is people are falling in love with you. They felt like you guys were disrespected with where you were ranked. So I don't know if you feel that way or if the team feels that way, but know that there's a lot of people in the world that feel like you guys are still being counted out. Uh, and I assume you're going to pull from that uh, to, to utilize this motivation. But you need to know people love your team right now, Coach. Well, that's nice. Um, but you're, yeah, you're always looking for motivation. Trust me, that edge, you know, that chip, uh, you know, I, I do better when I'm a little angry. Uh, Hell yeah. Everybody's looking for something. And, uh, but, you know, um, focus in on the right things. There'll be a time and a place to comment on other things later. The key right now is you got to win. How is that? Like but you know what? It, for To hear, you know, the people, What's going on here is incredible. It's like a movement and starting to catch on nationally a little bit. And uh, that's awesome. Now we got to keep doing our part. Hell yeah. Let's keep it rolling too, you know. Game days in Bloomington are good. Amen. Game days in Bloomington are great news, selfishly. I'm saying that. How was the lasagna? I missed it. I missed the Signetti lasagna. Oh, was it great? It was incredible. I mean, uh, uh, Donardo used to have a restaurant here in town. He may still have a piece of it. I, I don't know. Uh, D'Angelo. Joe? Joe Denardo? Yeah. Uh, no, Jerry Denar uh Jerry Denardo, the guy who used to coach here oh, on the Big yeah. Ten. Oh, Big Ten oh I thought you were talking about Joe Denardo. Yeah. You know, the guy who no, 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 no. <laughs> you know Joe Denardo. Not the weather guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah the weather guy. Go check Joe Denardo. So, hey, we got 18 people coming to the house for the games, staying overnight. So, you know, you got to order food, right, for Friday night and Saturday night. So a little lasagna there is a go-to. Okay. Well, I wish I would have been able to enjoy it. I'll have to make that stop in the off season. see the putting green, yep. mm -hmm. see the pool, see the house. I think Basketball they're doing court. they're doing uh, social media videos of your house. It is gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. It Ooh. is gorgeous, Coach. You're living the high life. Let's continue to roll. We appreciate you stopping by. All right, buddy. Have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Kurt Signetti. Yes, he is. He's the man. Thank you for taking time. He's going right back in right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Back oh, to yeah. the film room. Yeah. 